today's video is about doubling whiffs when we when I sew wigs I normally um double my whiffs to make my wigs fuller I really don't like to sew um single stitch single whiff because it kind of makes the wig kind of like a I mean, it'll be full, but it won't be as full as I like it. I, I really like, I think the wigs last longer when you're adding, um, you know, more hair in the wig. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get this to focus. Okay, so I have a 18 inch bundle of hair and then today um, I'm going to show you guys how to double your whips. Okay, here we go. So I kind of like fold it at the tip where the hair is already folded at. I kind of keep it folded. I don't, you know, take it apart. Not if I don't really have to, but I kind of like take my fingers and run through it to make sure there's no hair in the way. So I kind of pinch, you know, the corner to give it like a, you know, to keep it bent. So we're gonna go in and I, actually got my machine on the zigzag pattern um number four zigzag okay you want to smooth the hair out make sure that you don't have like you know like i said no hair in the way nothing I take my fingers and I kind of pinch a little closer I take my fingers and I pinch the webs together so they'll stay together as they're going through the sewing process <laughs> And you want to go backwards, like when you're ending out your whiffs and you still got these little, you know, at the end, the two whiffs at the end. So what you want to do is going to go back and forth, maybe like two or three times in order for you to get a, a complete close on it. Every so often you may get like these little open blotches. They still sew together, but I don't like it. So what I do is I kind of pinch them together and then I go back in where it's closed. And then I go back over it again. And then you see where it's completely closed. The whiffs are basically together. <laughs> 